Do you get frustrated when you see questions asking for the network address, the broadcast address, the subnet, subnet mask of the IP address, and you don't know how to get started? Well, I'm going to share with you the only three pieces of information you need to solve any subnetting problem. So we're going to discuss how to subnet the CIDR or the CEDAR. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Jolanda and I am an AWS and CCNA certified IT professional. I created the four column method. It's a subnetting cheat sheet and it looks like this. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how to use it, but you should really check out this video somewhere on the screen so you know exactly how to use it because this sheet will make answering any subnetting question super, super easy. And even if my mind went blank, I would know exactly how to create this chart. So there's a method to creating it and I'm gonna share with you. So even if your mind goes blank, you don't know where to get started, you will be able to create this chart. Okay, so you should really watch the other video, video on how to create this chart, but I'm going to walk you through quickly. So you start from zero, just number it down and call one, zero through eight, and then you go over, to column three and you just write zero, one, two, three, all the way up to eight. And then you just fill out column four, just type one and then just double it everywhere you go all the way up until you get to the top. And then finally you fill out the subnetting column. You start at zero, you just write down the subnets. And I, if you watch the video, it'll show you, show you how to fill out this chart quickly within seconds so that you can answer and get every subnetting question right from now on. You can, with this one chart, you can have, find the block size, the number of hosts, number of subnets, subnet mass, the seeder, everything. Okay, so we won't go through that, but I just wanted to share with you, you will need the sheet to answer your subnetting questions. Now, to answer any subnetting question, you need three pieces of information. The first thing you need to know is to find the interesting octet. Now, when you're presenting with the IP address, there are four different octets here. You don't need to pay attention to all of them. You just need to figure out which one of these four you need to pay attention and calculate. So I'm gonna share with you how to do that. There's four different ways. The first way is to just memorize that if it's slash nine through 16, you focused on this second octet. If it's slash 17 through slash 24, you focus on the third octet. If it's slash 25 through slash 32, you focus on the fourth octet. This is a lot, I know maybe, cause you know, if you're sitting down and you're frustrated and your mind goes blank, maybe this is not the best method for you. But based on this, slash 26, then this means that this should be the octet that we focus on. Okay, that's option A. Let's go to the next one. The next one is to just count in blocks of eight. So, you know, you have 26 and you count in blocks of eight. It's going to be eight, 16, or 24. You stop counting at 24. So let's see, eight here. And that's not right, right? Because we have to go to 26. So you add another eight. Okay, now eight plus eight, that's 16. That still doesn't equal 26. Okay, let's add another one. Eight, 16 plus eight is 24. Okay, so 24. So that says this is the octet that we need to focus on. So that's what you can do if you go blank and can't figure out which one to focus on. Okay, the third way is to just memorize the classes addresses. So look, you focus on this first one here, so 197. So class zero through 127, that means you focus on the second octet, which is this one. If it's between 128 and 192, then you focus on the third one. And if it's between 192 and 223, you focus on this fourth one. Okay, so our number is 197. So based on this chart, we would have to focus on this number. I mean, this octet, okay? so you can remember the classes. Now the final way is if they give you the subnet, well then that's easy because all you then have to do is focus on the, the, num the octet that doesn't have 255 in it and there you go. So there are four different ways that you can figure out which octet you need to focus on. Whatever method works best for you is the one that you should use. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell. Okay, the second thing you need to solve any subnet is you need the block size. Okay, so here's our, our IP address and let's just say they gave us the slash 26. Using our subnetting cheat sheet, the four columns, which you have drawn out quickly and easily, all you need to do is start counting. So now we could have drawn out this chart and included every single seeder from slash eight all the way down to slash 32, but that takes a lot of time. And remember, we are under stress. We can't remember that much. So don't worry about that. All you need to do is just start counting at the seeder that's closest to one of these without being over. So slash 26, 
means that we need to start counting at 24. So here you go. So you start, you just start at 24, 25, 26. Okay, good. So this is our subnet and this is our block size. See how easy that is? And if you had, if it was slash nine, then you would just go slash eight slash nine. You would focus on this row. If it was slash 17 or slash 19, you start here. So slash 16 slash 17 slash 18 slash 19. See, isn't that easy? Cool. All right, cool. So now we know that we need to, our block size is 64 and our subnet is 192. Now, if they give you, this is easy because if they give you the subnet, then that's easy. You just find the subnet. And then you just walk over here and you find the block size. See, simple. Okay, so we all have all the information we need to get started. So we let's start, so number one, we need to identify the interesting octet, which is this one. We have our block size and we just need our next subnet. So the block size is important. How I like to get started is I like to start S, that's the starting. And then I just put an F for first and then I put an L for last, and then I put a B for broadcast. And so now you just draw out your block. So you start at zero, and the next block is 64. We're counting in blocks of 64. And then 64 plus 64 is 128. And then, you know, another 64 would be 192. We don't need this, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, good. And so now we can start subnating. Here we go. So we know the broadcast is one less than the next. So this is going to be 63. And then let's just do another one. Uh, 128, then one less is 127. Okay, and then last, the last is one less than broadcast. So this would be 62. And then one less than 127 is 126. Okay, and then the first is just one more than starting. So if that's zero, this is one. And one more than 64 is 65. Okay, so now how do you figure out which subnet 19 belongs in? Well, it's just based on the number. So 19 fits in with this subnet because it falls between, so 19 would be here. Start at one and it ends at 62. So 19 falls in here. So this would be the subnet and all the, all the information you need to answer all of those questions. Now this is simple because we count it in blocks of 64. Okay, so what happens when you have to count in blocks of eight? It's easy when you have to count in blocks of 64 and you only have to include a 19, but what if you have to go all the way up into 204? That's a lot, right? So if we tried to do it this way, it would take a while. So we'd start at zero, eight, next one would be 16, Next one would be 24, next one plus eight would be 32, plus eight would be 40, plus eight would be 48. Like this is a lot considering we have to go all the way up to 204. I'm gonna show you a better way to do that. A better way is I like to just start and look for patterns. So I would write zero, next one would be eight, next one would be 16, next one would be 24, next one would be 32. Okay, plus eight would be 40, plus eight, 48 plus eight is 56, plus eight is 64, plus eight is 72. Okay, then plus eight is gonna be 80. Are you seeing a pattern here? So once I see the pattern that it looks like it's going in blocks of 40, then what I would do is I would just start counting in blocks of 40. So 40 more with this would be 120. 40 more, plus 40 would be 160, plus 40 would be 200, plus 40 would be two, okay, so I, I'm gonna stop there, this would be 240. But now, so we found out that we need 200, this is what we need. Okay, so here, how you get started. So you start, I would start writing, start, first, last, broadcast. Okay, so I would put 200 and then plus eight would be 208 and then plus eight would be 216. Okay, good, now let's start. So 207, let's see, broadcast one less would be 207 and then 216, one less would be 215 now one less than 207 is 206. 
And then one less from 215 is 214. One more than 200 is 201. And then one more than 208 is 209. So this would be all you need to figure out your subnetting. That's it. So this is how you can quickly subnet anything. Just find the pattern. You see that it's just going in blocks of 40. Everything is plus 40. And once you identify the number, okay, 200 plus eight is gonna be 208. Okay, then I know this is, this is the one I need to focus on. So hopefully that makes sense, but it makes it easier to just start subnetting and figuring out um, all the information you need. Okay, let's move on. So that is how you, you can quickly subnet anything. You just first need to find the interesting octet. Then you need to locate the block size using your subnetting cheat sheet chart, four column chart. And then you just need, and you need to find the subnet, which you can find just from the block size. And, it, you know, obviously on the chart, you can just locate the subnet. And that's it. If you have all of those things, you can subnet. Now, it looks like a lot because I'm walking you through step by step. However, it's very simple. And if you go use this chart to start subnetting, I'm going to include some exercises in other videos, then you'll quickly be able to subnet anything using these three pieces of information. All right, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a lot of subnetted videos so that you can become really good and you don't lose this skill. Because once you lose it, it's hard to get back. So keep practicing, keep watching the video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.